We've all heard it growing up. Never trust a stranger. But according to this consumer survey published in 2020, we actually do a lot. In fact, 79% of consumers say they trust online reviews as much as their friends or family. The psychology behind why we listen to complete strangers is something known as social proof, the act of adapting behavior based on others. For example, when specifically planted members in an audience start clapping or give standing ovations, others tend to follow suit. In the world of travel, TripAdvisor is where millions of people go to praise, slam, and buy their way through the inhabited world. You'll even find reviews for the store around the corner on Yelp. But there was a time when the average person's word wasn't supreme, and we actually put our faith in the guidances of experts. Travel memoirs have been written for as long as humans have been exploring the world. What separates modern guidebooks from old-fashioned travelogues like the travels of Marco Polo is the inclusion of practical information written with the intention of encouraging readers to follow in the writer's footsteps. An early pioneer of the art was British poet and playwright Mariana Stark, who wrote down her observations of Italian churches and villas using a subjective rating system of one to five exclamation marks. After the Napoleonic Wars, the map of Europe was largely redrawn, and Stark produced a more comprehensive update, marked by pithy advice on tolerable inns, how to hire a horse carriage, and the variable state of the continent's post roads. Inspired by her musings, publisher John Murray launched one of the world's first guidebook series, which included itineraries, sightseeing spots, and inn listings. In Germany, bookseller and publisher Karl Bedacker too hit on a best-selling formula, a guide that encouraged the European intelligentsia to travel independently without an expensive entourage of servants and paid guides. Events took a sinister turn in World War II, when the Nazis used Bedacker's 1937 guide to pinpoint monuments in historic British cities for devastating bomb attacks. The so-called Bedacker Raids saw the Nazis attempt to bomb every building given three stars in the namesake guide. The following year, British bombers retaliated by destroying Bedacker's publishing house in Leipzig. In 1926, a small red guide from a small French town written initially to boost car and tire sales, began to award stars to fine dining establishments, initially marking them only with a single star, and subsequently up to three stars. The Mechelen Brothers' handy information for travelers now rates over 40,000 establishments and determines the fates of fine dining restaurants all over the globe. In 1958, the oil company ExxonMobil similarly began sending out anonymous staff to review restaurants, hotels, and spas in the U.S. Although less exclusive than the Mechelen Guides, a four or five mobile travel guide star was a significant achievement for any establishment. Today, this rating system, now renamed as the Forbes Travel Guide, still tests properties around the world against a set of up to 800 standards. The obituary of guides have been written at different points in the 21st century, but with research telling us that 85% of consumers still seek out credible third-party sources when making a purchase, perhaps there's something fundamentally important about expert opinion that would help travel guides withstand the test of time.